What's up team, Coach Abraham checking in with Armor Strength and Conditioning. So I was on Instagram and I asked you guys if you can still gain muscle and mass while training like an athlete. I've heard so many things of players training like bodybuilders first because they want to gain muscle and stuff. And if you are new to training, right? Like I'm saying very, very new. Like you can get away with training like a bodybuilder, but after a while, we need to transition to training like an athlete. Now I'm not saying, hey, yes, train like a bodybuilder. No, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. From the get-go, if you prioritize your movements, you will enhance your genetic potential as far as maximizing those movements you see on the pitch, right? This is what we train. We, we reverse engineer what we see on the pitch and then say, oh, hey, an athlete needs to be able to do an explosive lunge, squat, whatever. I let you guys answer it and i saw some phenomenal answers so let's kind of go over it and dive into it a little bit hopefully this sheds some light and you can from today start training like an athlete and still gain muscle strength and size so let's get into it yeah top of the morning i know that you thought i was dormant woke up early from shots that was swarming a black consistency is key if you're not in a rush to gain muscle you definitely can have gains and that's absolutely right as a footballer, you don't want to gain weight too fast, a little calorie surplus and doing lots of speed and power big exercises. So yeah, we need to be doing explosive things year round, in season, off season, pre season, year round guys. Like this is, this is not negotiable if you plan to play for the rest of, of your career until you hang those boots, you can still gain weight, mass, strength, be explosive. If you continue to do your speed exercises, if you continue to do your plyometric exercises, okay? And if you are still doing this, guys, well, you're telling your body, hey, we still need to be explosive. Instead of just being in the gym and you're telling your body, hey, we just need to be strong like a power lifter and that's all we need to do. One, of course you can. You need to lift with a certain tempo, controlled and eccentric, explosive concentric part of the movement, plus add plyos and speed because we are athletes, not bodybuilders, movements over muscles, functionality over aesthetics. So what he's saying here, you need to live with a certain tempo. So if we are trying to enhance those hypertrophy aspects, meaning the growth of the muscle, going down slowly is going to enhance that because that is time under tension. So let's say that we take a barbell back squat and we are going down slowly. One, two, three, four, right? You are tearing and breaking down that muscle tissue. On the way up, an explosive concentric meaning on the way up, try to shoot up as fast as possible. The research has shown us the power gains, the speed gains that can come from the intent on the way up. And there will be times when you do need to isolate muscles. And one of the best ways to kind of gain that size is being in a caloric surplus. Being in a caloric surplus is the main part of gaining weights and muscle. However, if you are in maintenance, you can still gain muscle and size, obviously not as fast, but this may be good if you are in season and you don't want your game to be affected, maybe training at a maintenance, we can get a body recomposition. And now we are getting a little bit of size without our weight going up or down. So last ones, yes, because no matter how we train, our muscle sort of breaks and rebuilds in a bigger form. And that's, that's key right there. It's not like we are lifting and nothing is happening inside the muscle. I know there will be cases where you need to gain muscle a little bit faster and maybe the time for that is in the off season. All right, this can vary. Uh, but it, again, if you are new to training, you will see newbie gains, which those gains are gonna come pretty darn fast. When in doubt, a caloric surplus, adequate protein, uh, good sleep, and training like an athlete, right? Two to three times a week. Hey, what's up team? I did want to come out here and just say real quick, because I know this is a question that is asked a lot. Can you train as an athlete for the lower body, but train like a bodybuilder for the upper body? I've seen a lot of successful footballers do this. As long as we are including those functional movements like core exercises and stuff, you can definitely still add more upper body movements, all right? I will still prioritize those compound pull-ups, bench press, overhead presses, things like that, rows, let's still get stronger in it. And if you want to add a little bit more mass to your upper body because you want to look good, you know, I think that's okay. That's going to add further confidence. Now, always keep in mind, there's going to be a limit to how much that's going to benefit you on the pitch. But I think if we look at pro footballers, some of them are pretty shredded on top. You can definitely tell they do train for some hypertrophy at the top and they're able to get away with it. And I want you to stay tuned for this next video. I will upload on a new way of training where we can maximize hypertrophy, strength and power. All research based. I can't wait to show you guys. So again, stay tuned for the next video I'm going to upload. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, drop a comment, check out my meal plans as well. If you want to take your game to that next level and I'll see you on the next one.